Hey everybody, this is Emperor. Welcome back. This is our playthrough of DCUO, uh, creating a new character uh, based on the Rage Powers, or Red Lantern, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and I will be going from level 1 to 30, which is the max level. Um, so in the first video we created this character, and as I said, uh, I'm going to change her up a bit. Um, I do have <laughs> items that I've purchased in the marketplace and they are account wide so I get to use them on all my characters and I am going to redeem those now. Okay, that was all of them. Oh, I should have thought about those weapon styles. I can't use them yet because I'm not training the weapons. I'll just I'll leave them where they're at. It's fine. I'll move them later. Um, okay, so, uh, it auto-equipped some of those things that were in my inventory. Uh, cooler, but not quite what I wanted. So, let's just change this up real quick. I already kind of have an idea in my head of, uh, what I intended. Go with the cosmic. And... Hmm. Oh, let's see. Uh, I don't think I want to waste peace right now. Okay. It's kind of what I had in mind except for the colors. So our palette is going to be... And I am going to change uh, what's colored what in a minute. So we're going to go with red, black, and white. Okay. Oh, I guess, uh, he's dead. Hang on just a second here. I think I have another controller that's charged. Yep, there we go. Let me plug this other one in. So that way it'll be ready for later. Okay, back to the business at hand. Uh, 
Oh, right. Actually, uh, the skin color is not what I wanted. Keep hitting the wrong buttons. Sorry. There we go. Let's uh, roll with that for a bit. And there's what we look like. Alright, now let's go beat up this robot. Unfortunate. The ship knows you're awake. Ready to fight your way out? Absolutely. Watch it. Activity on the ship's network shows they're gathering beyond that door. All units, move into position. Contain the human. Oh yeah, so you have two, uh... You have two buttons for your weapons. And then, uh... If you look at the the bar down below, when I hold uh, when I hold L two, you can see those those icons switch at the bottom. And then if I hold if I you know while holding that hit square triangle circular X, it uses whatever is assigned to those spots. We don't have any powers yet, but that'll change. Anyways, and then if I hold R two, it does the other four. Um, I'm not holding either of those. Square and triangle are my uh, my attacks, my physical based attacks. Square is a um, melee range, and triangle is a um, is a range attack, as I just demonstrated. Like that. Had I gone bow like I usually do, square would have hit them with my bow, and triangle would have shot arrows. Alright, let's go get this guy. Bring it on, fucker. Oh, better block. There is a block in this game, and it is actually super important. If I don't block that charge, um, he does not get knocked down. No joke. Let's get you out of the halls. Transport tubes crisscross the entire ship. Look for one right above you and use it to get out of there. Um, when you're blocking, so this game's kind of rock, paper, scissors. When you're blocking, um, if I were to use a strong range attack like that, uh, that would break a block. There's other bro block breakers too, but that's one of them. Uh, if somebody's using certain, certain range attacks, they can be interrupted by one of these uh, melee charging moves. 
like that one. Um, anyways, these these have knockdown abilities, uh, so timing on these things is critical, especially in PvP. Okay, uh, we have our first power, and I know absolutely nothing about this power set. Uh, it is as new to me as it is to you. Um, it was implemented during my time away from the game, so uh, I don't even have really experience seeing other people play it. So this will be a learning experience for both of us. Oh, what should I pick? Uh, anger tree or punishment tree? Well, let's look. Hit your target with a concentrated energy blast, damaging it and knocking it down. You receive healing equal to a portion of the damage dealt. Okay, let's look at punishment. Punishment allows you to defer incoming damage and share your rage with your allies. Specializing in this tree grants a plus one to critical attack chance and 25 health. Oh no wait, what did I have selected? Oh, that was the generalization of, of the tree. Rage bringer, smother your targets and nearby enemies in rage energy, damaging and dragging them toward you. You receive healing equal to a portion of the damage dealt. Hmm. I'm gonna try this one. Generally, at the beginning of the game, the subject has left the main corridors. Search the vessel. Generally, at the beginning of the game, usually the the pulling powers are kind of uh, powerful. <laughs> So, hopefully that'll be the case with this power, too. Now, I just got some, uh, I should have gotten a piece of gear here. Yes, I got some new gloves. Uh, I locked my style earlier, so even though I put this on, I will keep my, my current appearance instead of changing it to what I'm actually putting on. Uh, if you look at this, this uh, chest piece I've highlighted, it says plated synthium shirt. You know, has the stats, but then where it says style, it says fourth world not collected. Now, as soon as I wear this piece, go over to it now that I have it on. Now it says already collected. That means that style has been stored in my inventory of styles, and I can switch to it whenever I want, regardless of what I'm wearing. That is one of the things I love about this game. Um, once you have a style, it is yours forever. Doesn't matter what you have on. The ship's patrolling for you. We're not out yet. Um, you know, I, I used to be a World of Warcraft player, and I know they've they've changed it somehow. I'm not entirely sure because I, I quit during uh, kind of the end of Burning Crusade. Anyways, um, the characters. More security is coming your way. The player characters in this are a lot more diverse because people get to customize however they want based on what they've collected instead of having to you know stick to a tiered set of gear because that's the best thing that's out right now you know you can you can be wearing the best gear in the game and still have styles from when you created your character if that's what you're into you know so um, that's something I hope future MMOs adopt because it's really nice not having five people standing next to each other wearing the same shit. Oh yeah, let's try out this new power. Okay, here we go. I believe I like that. Oh. Um... In the hallways. I'm gonna kill this guy and then p kind of pause for a second. So, <coughs> despite there being so many powers in this game, there's actually only four uh, roles. Uh, and what I mean by that is uh, uh, DPS, your, your damage dealing class, a tank, a healer, and a controller. And what a controller does is um, they kind of have uh, pulls, stuns, um, buffs, debuffs, and uh, most importantly, they replenish your power. And that's 
the equivalent of, of a mana bar in this game is your power. Controllers replenish power, and it's awesome. Minor damage. Um, you know, unlike games like World of Warcraft, you're not at the mercy of uh, your max mana bar and whatever consumables you may have when you go into battle. You get replenished. The transport tube. You can get replenished during the battle by controllers. So a good controller is uh, very important. <laughs> Obviously, part of them being a good controller is, and this is every class is based on their gear, but it's also based on timing and knowing when to do things and when not to do things. Many times I have uh, performed better in this game than people with superior gear just because uh, experience matters. <laughs> Colas are your, uh, your health consumable in this game. Um, some of them also have buffing effects like, you know, more damage, better healing, etc. There's no falling damage in this game for anybody. Doesn't matter what movement type you picked, nobody takes falling damage. Which is, of course, fun. Delivering shipment of Earth goods. All units move into position. Contain the human. can pick up and use objects. <laughs> Pull's kind of fun. So up to level 30, uh, you switch off every level between getting a skill point and a power point. Invasion force aboard. We have to destroy this ship. Skill points get spent in your weapon trees, and um, that's how you get multiple weapon options. Also, the weapon trees. Detected nearby. The weapon trees. Uh, can give you stat bonuses. Like, uh. Oh, yeah, I gotta hit this thing. Shit. It's gonna stun me again, goddammit. So you see, it says feat achieved. You can earn more skill points by completing feats. Every 100 feet points, you earn a skill point. Um, my current character, uh, my sorcery healer, I think has 106 skill points, which used to be a lot, but uh, not as much as it used to be. Um, some of my league mates who have been playing the entire time failing. They have like about 170, which just blows my mind. In 
Engaging enemy. Oh, interrupt. Uh, wrong one. So there, see, he was using a ranged attack, and because I charged him with that, here, I'll do it again, because it makes me do it again. See, it knocked him down. Status critical. See if he'll do it again. Okay, here we go. Well, it killed him, but it actually knocks him to the ground, and that is critical. Let's see what's this guy doing. Uh, he's blocking, so I'll use this ranged, and see, now he's... He's knocked down, which basically gives you an opportunity to land some, some free hits. So here, here we go again. Oh, wrong target. Subduing target. Alpha protocol engaged. Initiating combat. And that guy charged me. And uh, I, I blocked it. And if you block a charge, then they get knocked down. So as I said, it's kind of rock paper scissors because there's three different, three different options, and each one has a, a defense and a counter. Damage to this vessel continues to mount. Destroy the SAB immediately. All units move into position. Contain these health barrels are useful. They restore health and power. Very nice. So when you pop one, it only affects uh, the person that... Well... I guess I should say the person. Uh, your faction. So like, if I had some, some friends with me, it would also help them. But uh, it does not help your enemies. So, fighting someone when they've busted a health barrel, if you're not the one that busted it, uh, probably don't want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them standing in it, unless you're really confident, because they get the advantage. The main gun is just ahead. Destroy it, and the blowback will disrupt the ship's shields. Then we can get on board and shut this down. Oh, should I have a skill point? I'll spin that in a minute. Okay, so skill points. Um, you have to be, I think, level 10 before you can start specking into other weapons. But there's all the other weapons. Right now we just have our brawling. And uh, this is where we start getting better combos. So now I will get a tap and then a hold. So tap, hold. Anyways, the further you go down, you get you get better combos. You know, some of them have effects like a stun or a knockdown. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, you did just see me roll. Do not let the prisoner reach the prime weapon control room. Damage to the power couplings will destabilize the ship. human you cannot stop the conversion little tutorial boss here in. destroy whatever is connecting the gun to the ship oh no not yet that's right I gotta break these four things first get ready You're and then him and I throw down once the gun is out and the shields drop Lex Luthor will teleport in to help destroy the ship um I'm not attacking those guys because they'll just keep coming you gotta break these things, so basically just ignore them. 
They don't do shit for damage anyways. Whoops. Stop the prisoner. Only one couple remains. Do not fail breathing out. into Brainiac's bottle force field below. All right. You will submit. Oh, there he is. Sustain. Minor damage. Gotta get away. Damage if he hits you with that, then he gets to beat on you. But if he misses, then you get to beat on him for enhanced damage. So, don't want to get hit by it. Minor damage. No, this one has failed. Powering. Lex. The shields are down. It's all your all yours. Foolish human, you have doomed yourself. You will go down with this ship. No, nope, my buddy Lex is gonna come save me. You there! Help me fend off Brainiac Spotter while Calculator locks onto one of the ship's teleports. Cannot defy. Surrender now. So the best way to do this is to get up by one of the teleporters. Or make it go a lot faster once you clear most of these guys in the room because the rest will start spawning uh, pretty much at this one teleporter instead of all over the room And there we go. You've done well here. Better than those incompetent so-called heroes outside. Get into the city. Damn right. From here. You did it. Lex will shut down the rest. I've hacked the teleporters to deliver you to safety. Go. An alien intelligence determined to steal my planet. Deadly and unstoppable. Until a broken man with my face came from the future and released the key to my triumph. New villains armed with Earth's strongest powers. With them, I will take back my planet for humanity. No matter who stands in my way. I am Lex Luthor. May the best man win. So this is going to take us to a nightclub, which is uh, one of the villain's safe areas. Well, 
you were capable enough to get out of Brainiac's ship. Good. Welcome to Club Lexalance, one of many nightclubs throughout Gotham and Metropolis that function as safe houses for our kind of folk. You can find all kinds of things here. Let's start with you finding the vendors. Um, by the way, I am playing this on the PS4, uh, but it is available for free on both the PS3 and the PS4, and um, they can uh, they play on the same servers, so that's kind of awesome because I still have a PS3, and now my my son can play with me. Anyways, um, point being, uh, the PS4 version, uh, it's it's exactly the same game except for slightly smoother frame rate and uh, some sharper textures and draw distance but other than that uh, I haven't really noticed uh, much difference so it's just a little prettier and smoother more technically capable than the PS3 version anyways um, as I was saying this is a nightclub um, villains have the Hall of Doom which is their main base of operations and then nightclubs throughout the cities of Metropolis and Gotham, which is their safe havens. Uh, because if, especially if you're playing on the PvP server, um, once you're in the city, uh, it's fair game, no matter what level you are. But uh, heroes cannot get in here. This is totally safe. Um, so that's going to end this video because uh, we're getting to the half hour mark. And um, I will just continue this in the next part. We'll start doing some some quests and look around the nightclub for a minute so i will see you guys in part three hope you enjoyed this leave some comments let me know what you think see ya